Right, hi, um, what's in this box? Right, first of all, you'll have noticed the past week on my blog I've been dithering and dallying and fiddling and faffing about and not really getting anywhere. Kind of directionless, it's a funny thing, coming back, like the build up to France was so intense. I had a new class start this week, um, I was all prepared for that and class is class and the work for class will be done in class. Um, and I need something for me to do. Um, I kind of need a mission and I think, I know I've said in the past on my blog, if you've been reading my blog for a long time, you know that as I always say, always look at your old work, look at your old photographs, look at your old ledgers and sketchbooks. I do that all the time and I'm sparked to do something when I do that. But that just didn't really figure in my consciousness this week because my brain's been in a funny place because I've been here, there and everywhere recently. And then I thought, Karen, for goodness sake, recently I did a class called Sampling for Stitch and it was the the initiation of a design process leading through all the sampling stages um, and I've got in this box this massive information and I, last night I thought Karen get your box out just look through that box because when I was doing this I was so inspired and then another thing is this was a design for a bag but it can be transferred to anything else you can make anything else you want with it I could do anything with it but today, I'm thinking, what I'd like to do is get these out of the box and get them in a proper folder, sturdy folder. So I'm thinking that my mission might now be to buy some kind of big hardback sketchbook or storybook or something um, and start putting these in there um, and titivating the pages that they go on. Now, I won't be doing any of that process on my blog because that's what I'm doing in class, but I will be able to show you what I'm doing. So if I just take you through what's in here, this box came to France with me because it was sturdy for things to be protected. So I took all these things out before I went to France and obviously I've put them back since I came back, but it was a brilliant, useful thing to have to take. So we started with, I'm gonna move the box so I can put the things on the table. A basic design sheet, that was my first sheet, okay. Now I could pull in, but you won't see the box, but then maybe you don't need to see the box, you've seen the box. Let me just see. I need to try and get it in a position where it's visible to you. So that was my first basic design sheet, okay? And then leading on from that, came that one. I'm not gonna talk you through them all in a massive way, but this is just to illustrate to you the massive amount of resources I have at my fingertips. Um, that one, that's a particular favourite. I love this area here. Uh, now I'm not gonna put loads of pictures of this on my blog because they're already there, but I'll try and link to the posts that have them in. That's another favourite. And I think what I like here is the pale pink papers and everything um, that are going on with the little bits of stitching, the texture. Then it was on to stitch samples. Now these might not be in the, the order they were made, but they're in a stitch sample order so that I know. I mean, look at all this information. Another one, more information. So how can I fail to be inspired? How can I fail to know something to do? This one, they're all just like in their own right, little pieces of work in their own right. Um, that are just well I'm getting excited all over again um, then I was looking at bag shapes while well, the class was looking at shapes of whatever they wanted to make putting those different things that have gone previously into shapes of bags and again here okay with little swatches of what's going on there don't want to tell you too much then there was big bag shapes partially drawn <coughs> with information put in them about colour and stitch. I've got quite a few of these. And I mean, these would look lovely, wouldn't they? Mounted separately, individually on pages in a massive folder or something. That's another one that's got more colour going on. In fact, I think I did that first and I wasn't happy with it. I thought it was too much. So then I reverted to this, which I think makes works much better. You can visualise the stitching that's going on better without that, as you'll see in this one more stitching, more bag shapes. There's so much work here, uh, this one, more stitching, more bag shapes. Now that accumulated in a double sheet of all the ideas together. 
So, if I move those and show you that one, this is my double page spread of all my ideas. I'll pull out again so you can... So we've got fastenings, we've got edges, edges, seam treatments, fabric placement, stitch placement. That's the second half of it. We've got fabric choices, thread choices, combination choices, um, stitch reference down there. So I just thought that I would share that with you so that maybe you will look back at something you've done before all that information i definitely want it in some kind of big folio so because of that last night i put something together now it's a bit dog's dinner it's not been damp stretched and i've done minimal work on it put together some brodery on glaze some gingham brodery on glaze lace and gingham and all i've done so far is stitch across there and um, there will be a picture of this um stitch across there with cords and French knots because by the time I'd secured the seams, tapped it, you know, basted it, then secured it with running stitch, etc. Obviously that takes time, so I managed to get those done. But I just really thought that, that might be valuable for you to see. And I've just listed that class as well as a work on your own and um, where I did all this. Um but that's by the way, because you know, I, mean, I have got so much here in terms of a body of work and I said at the start of that class you're building a library of information and you can't doubt or question whether I've got a library of information I've got a mass of information and getting it out again and looking at it anew has just got me fired up and excited all over again so I just wanted to share that with you the secrets of my black and white box okay